Oh my goodness. What is it? April 4th? What in the world? <laughs> Those are the biggest snowflakes. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I have no words. <laughs> I just woke up to this. Wow. Okay. I, I can't imagine it's going to stick around long. It's not that cold. Oh. Send, send help. Help. <laughs> oh, man. What do you think about these? Aren't they beautiful? <clears throat> yeah, we went to get groceries the other day, and my husband disappeared on me for a while, and he was over in the flower section. It was the day after our anniversary. He bought me flowers. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. He's so sweet. Just thought I'd show you my pretty flowers. Yep. Yeah. All righty. All right, here is um, my road. I told you they've been working on it and they've been trying to fix it. Well, this is right past my mailbox. Okay, like, <laughs> here's my mailbox, right? And here's my road right here. This is my yard. This is all my yard. See what they've done? By scraping the road, this is what they do. All right, I'm trying to walk out into the road a little bit. It's just mud. It's all mud now. So what a mess, right? So we get that. And then, okay, and then let me show you the other part of my yard. See that puddle down there? Yeah, that's my yard too, right? So that's all they're doing. They're scraping out too much dirt. And so then it's just making these huge holes, big old gullies. See, what a mess. Yeah, here's all the choppy choppy they did. And you see all the little branches cut. I mean, they cut trees, they cut, I mean, they just whacked and whacked and whacked this whole area over here. And we kind of liked it. It gave us a nice block from the highway. Okay, the highway is right over that hill. See the big hill? The highway is over on that side. And it was kind of giving us a nice little noise block and stuff, but what a mess. I don't think they know how to work the roads. I hate to, I hate to tell them how to do their job, but I don't think they know how to do a good job. What do you think? <laughs> I just finished filming a Yarny video and I look over and I see this. I mean, that is sacked out. Oh, now she's going to move because she hears me talking about her. <laughs> but I mean, when your tongue's hanging out your mouth and you're just like, now I'm going to just bury my face, Mom. I'm burying my face. <laughs> that was too funny. But I've shown you before the messes that I make. I'm, look, boxes, bags, boxes, stuff. This is post, post yarn video. Post yarn video. I make a mess. Yeah. So I got to clean up and find a place to put all my yarny goodness now. And look, we got, look what we have out here. What do we have out here? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. I mean, these guys are like right here, right outside the window. Hi guys, what are you doing? I have no idea what they find to eat. They, they're always picking at stuff in the grass. I don't know what, a bug? I don't know. <laughs> well, they're finding water over here in the little stream, but no clue what they find to eat. They're having a good time, though. Oh, this one's going to go in the stream over here. Oh, yeah, let's go in the stream. Get a drink. I think the water coming out of the stream is fresher than the pond water. They like it. <laughs> My dogs drink out of the stream, too. Crazy dogs. Oh, here's somebody over here, too. What are you... Oh, she... What? Look at her, look at her beak. Her beak is covered with mud. Can you see that? Mud, and she's got some stringy stuff hanging out in her mouth. What in the world? You're a messy duck. Messy duck. Where are you going? Messy. Messy. Where are you going? Oh, she's just going to get a drink there off the rock. There's a little water on the rock. We'll just drink off the rock. She's so dirty. She's just like digging in the mud. Crazy bird. 
crazy bird. And out back are the boys. I think those are all boys out there. Three of them are for sure. The white one probably is too. Yeah, because the white girl, well, the white girl is right here. Where is she? There she is. So that's, those are four boys, my four boys out there. All right, I got to go clean up my mess. I think I'm going to just throw this in a vlog video because I want to open it up. I've had it for a couple days, and I don't have any other packages coming that aren't yarn. And went in my yarn video. So I'm going to open this up. I want to get into it. It's from Muni Made. I was able to get a tray. I've wanted another Muni Made, and I keep forgetting to go. She... She lists new trays in her shop on Etsy at 6, is it 6 Central Time? I think it's 6 Central Time, and I keep missing the time. I love her trays, and I wanted to get another one. There's all of her information if you need it, all of her details. Mm-hmm. Got it? Got it. Okay, so I was able to pick one up. Look at this. Isn't this cute? It's got a little tag here. Look, it's a little Easter tag. And it says, Happy Easter to Mindy from Muni Maid. There's something in here in the little egg. Oh, gosh, it's a peep. <laughs> it's a squishy. It's a squishy peep. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm getting a phone call. I got to take. I'll be back. I'm back. Okay, let's finish this up. Always fun stuff going on, right? Oh, look at the little, it's a pig. Aw, let's see if we can not tear it. I don't know why. Am I going to save the pig sticker? Probably not, but anyhow. Okay, let's see what I got. Uh, if I recall right, I got a large tray and that's it. No special stuff. No, like, covers or anything like that. I don't really use the covers. I don't need those. So, let's see. Oh, yep, here we go. This is what I got. So it says Muni Made on the side, and it's like a rose gold color. I love their trays. I got the large one. I love it. How pretty is that? Look how shiny it is. I guess you'd call this silk or something, I think. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Yeah, no tray. I mean, no tray. No lid or anything like that. I just got the tray because that's really all I want. They have stoppers and lids you can get as well. And I think you can go get stoppers and lids pretty much all the time. Maybe they're always in the shop. I don't know. But I just didn't want one, so I didn't get one. So their logo's on the side, Muni Made. They, and I love them because they're nice and firm, and they got these high sides, and you can shake that thing up, and the grooves. The grooves, everything lines up so nicely in there. So that's what I got. Got my little peep and my little tray, and I'm all set to go. All right, that's what I got. Now I can use it. I am making a huge mess but it's going to be well worth it when I'm done. Um, I've gone through this bookshelf, and you can tell I've taken out some books here because this used to be full. Got some books stacked here, taken out a few over here. I'm taking out books that I know I'm not going to read. I'm just not going to get to them. So look at over here. <laughs> I know, right? Huge mess, but I'm starting to get things organized. I'm going to redo those bookshelves, and I'm going to put things on there a little differently so I have more space uh, we'll see how it goes but it's one of those things you got to make a mess to clean up a mess you know what I mean and then look at here look at here <clears throat> that's my pile of books that I've taken out that I am not going to get to I know I'm not going to read those so yeah I thought well you know <laughs> let me just uh let me just deal with it and get it done. Hi, Toffee. Toffee May. She's like not paying any attention. Toffee. What are you doing? Oh, I know. I know. It's it's exhausting to just lay around and sleep all day. Look at my yarn over there. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, I'm trying. I'm really trying. And, and then here's the other one. Look at She's over here. There's Miss Tifa quiet, peaceful Sunday morning. All right. Well, that's what I'm up to. So this morning when I got up, it was beautiful outside. Sun was shining bright. <laughs> it was going to be a really nice day. Well, it's kind of, the temperature says it's like close to 60, I guess. But the wind, the wind is blowing and it's cold. It's making my ears cold. Now it's all cloudy. 
I don't know if you can tell, the sky completely overcast, right? Uh, yeah. So, I thought, I think it's going to rain. I am really, really trying to get some form of exercise in every day, you know? I can't have days where I've got two or three thousand steps. That can't happen. I gotta have, you know, minimum of five. Come on. Six, seven, eight to ten would be better. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. So I'm out here. My ears are cold. Dale came home from work and I thought he would go for a walk with me. I was waiting for him. Honestly, I was waiting for him. But he came home and he was tired. I get it. I get it. You know, he's worked all day. He's taking a nap. He's been taking a nap for about two hours. Yeah, so I finally said I'm going. I'm going. So, that's what I'm doing today. Tomorrow maybe we'll go to the gym. I don't know. Um, so, I lost some weight. I lost like three, four pounds. I lost four pounds. And it just kind of, you know, inched down. A little bit, little bit, little bit, like all week. And then I woke up yesterday, three pounds are back. I'm like, why? 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 Overnight, right? All I can think that is different is I was getting some jogging in on the treadmill. Like last week. I don't know. Do I really, really need to work that hard every single day? I mean, I was still walking. I mean, I was still getting my steps in. I was walking at a pretty good pace, but I didn't jog. What, what does it take? I'm serious. All right, I'm done blabbering. I'm headed home, see if Dale's awake. And then we'll have something for dinner, hopefully. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Here we are at my library. What does my library have? This is their used book shed. What do we have? Key West. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Looking, looking, looking. Hmm. Got some bunch of Katherine Andersons. Never read her before. Anybody read Katherine Anderson? Ooh, look at this one. This one looks good. I think I like that one. Summer with my sisters. Holly Chamberlain. I'm going to get that one. Yeah. Anything else? I'm basically looking for this. What do you call these? These bigger ones. I like the bigger ones. I mean, I'll read I'll read the little mass market ones, but all the good stuff seems to be in the bigger ones these days. See anything? Anything catching your eye? Oh, Susan Mallory's. I have all those, I think. Bunch of Debbie McComber. My Kansas home kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Susan Mallory, the friendship list. Ooh, ooh, I don't have that. Hey, I just threw it on the floor. Did you hear that? It's on the ground. Okay, let's get it. All right, let's put it on the table. Let's see. Susan Mallory, sisters by choice. I think I already have that. Read that. Done that. Been there. Done that. See these? They put these in here just to hold the books up. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Those are those are placeholders. I gotta hurry a little bit because I gotta get home and do my book live. Mm -hmm. So, see anything else? Anybody? I don't know. Daniel Steele. Do 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 do. They're kind of in some semblance of order. Maybe they're alphabetical. Steele. So, yeah, I think they're alphabetical. Okay. All right. Oh, then over here we got all hard covers. So all hard covers over here. All right, I'll have to make my last few selections. Dale's waiting outside, and then we gotta go. I'll show you what I ended up with. It turns out that the library, the used book sale, they were having a spring clearance type thing. You could get a bag of books for two dollars, <laughs> and normally they're like fifty cents a paperback, a dollar for a hardcover, but it was fill a bag for $2. I was like, okay, we only had a few minutes, so I filled as quickly as I could. <laughs> Anyhow, here's what I got. Uh, 
Beth Harbinson, when in doubt, add butter. I kind of read the back of this, and it seems like it's um, maybe a plus-size woman. She's, you know, got a weight, uh, some issue with her weight or something, and she turns to food all the time. I don't know. That's about the whole gist I got of that. Anyhow, <laughs> sounded interesting, you know what I mean? All right, what else did we get? Um, this is one of the first ones I found. Hallie Chamberlain, Summer with My Sisters. I didn't even read the back of this to see what it was about. I've heard the name Hallie Chamberlain. I've uh, read some of the synopsises for her books in the past. Anything with sisters sounded good. Um, so this is about sisters, a 16-year-old, and absences, and uh, just family, and family. I, I love family stories. So I had to get that one. Why not? I went over to the hardcover section, and I picked up a Danielle Steele. It's called Winners. I know I don't have that. I do have a lot of Danielle Steele. She was one of my very first, probably was my first romance read. So I uh, no idea what this is about. Oh, there's a breast cancer survivor. Body and heart are scarred by what she's been through. Teddy had a spinal cord injury. He dreams of becoming an artist. From the ashes of their lives, six people fight to alter the course of destiny and refuse to be defeated. All right. They're at a rehab facility. That's what that sounds like. Okay. Here's another hardcover one. Rebecca Wells, Yaya's in Bloom. You ever heard of that? I've heard of this before. Yaya's in Bloom. Whoa, look at this. is like a family tree. Carol's family tree. Vivi's family tree. Married and children and all that. Interesting. Um, what's it about? I don't know. Uh, 1962 T-Bird. <laughs> it goes through 60 years of marriage, children, and hair-raising family secrets. Hmm. When four-year-old Teensy Whitman prisses one too many times and stuffs a big old pecan up her nose, <laughs> she sets off the chain of events that leads Vizzy, Vivi, Teensy, Caro, and Nessie to become true sister friends. All right, so it kind of reminded me maybe of like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants or something like that. Uh, anyhow, it sounded good. What else did I get? I got this guy. Oh, Susan Mallory. Yes, had to pick up Susan Mallory. Anytime I see a Susan Mallory I haven't um, purchased myself, I'll pick it up. No idea what this is about. Um, she, a single mom overhears her son saying he can't go to his dream college because she needs him too much. Aww. So her son wants to stay with her because he feels that mom needs him. Yeah. Okay, then this was interesting. I picked these up. <laughs> they had a little basket of these. Um, crochet home. Interesting. So they have like a little assortment of patterns in here for different things. I thought, why not? <coughs> Sorry, let me check this out and see if there's anything in here I'm interested in. There's, I got that one. That's really pretty right there. The pinwheel afghan. Isn't that cool? I liked that. That's why I picked that one up, just for that picture right there. Then there's this one. The crochet newsletter. So we got crochet home. This is Annie's. Oh, look at that. That's very pretty. That's so funny. I was just talking to somebody recently about needing like a bed jacket. <laughs> I felt like an old lady when I said that, right? But my arms get cold at night. Like, um, yeah, that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Anyhow, I thought I'd look through these and see if there's any patterns in here. That I really, oh, what are those? Interesting. Um, and then this one is hooked on crochet. So I found these four little crochet magazines. I picked them up. Why not? Eh, cool. Nice. So that's what I got at my used book sale right in my little town. I need to get up to the library more often. I always say that I could ride my bike up there, you know. Put a little basket on the front of my bike. Do, 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 do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I got. Pretty cute. I'm going to look through those crochet magazines now. All right. My daughter has geese. Goose. <laughs> Gooses. <laughs> so she sent us a couple of eggs. And this is a goose egg. This is a massive cup here and that is one goose egg honey let me see the other goose egg real quick so we're gonna try it for breakfast we're gonna scramble it up and we're gonna I mean that is literally the size of 
two duck eggs. Look at look at this. <laughs> that is in a man's hand. Look at that. <laughs> the things are giant. So we're gonna cook one up. And look at that. Isn't that crazy? And fit a cup. It won't even fit in there that way. <laughs> it's a mug, not a coffee I don't, cup. It is a mug. a mug. That is a mug, right? It is a big mug, right? So we're going to scramble it up. We're going to eat it, and we'll let you know what we think about it. Never eaten a goose egg before. I'll let you know what I think. <laughs> Hi, it is uh, Monday morning. Monday after Easter. Yeah, Easter we did, like, really nothing. We went to the gym, and... We went and picked up some food from Kroger, like some rotisserie chickens, and took some stuff to my mom and dad so they could have some food, and we had some, and that was all we did. <laughs> um, my husband did make some really yummy stuff, though. He loves to make him some banana bread. He's good at it. He, he's made it, I don't know how many times now, <laughs> but he likes to make banana bread, and I'm like, okay, fine, you do that. Um, so let me tell you some things I've been working on. I really need to get this vlog out there. I've got lots of other little clips, but I thought one more time to just chit chat a little bit and I'll put this vlog video together. Okay. Let me talk about the books I've read real quick. Okay. For the book club, Jodi Picot, wish you were here. Wish I hadn't read it. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I really, it wasn't anything like I expected it to be. So there's two parts to the book, part one and part two. And at the end of part one, there's a drastic thing that happens, uh, complete shock, and makes you like, what was part one for then? I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird book. It's really, okay, if I had to sum this up in one word, I would sum it up as um, pandemic and coronavirus. That's what, I would, I, that's what it's about, really. It, it was weird. It was just weird. I I didn't really enjoy it at all. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay? Now, this book I just started, and I'm in about 60-some pages. It's called The Summer Seekers. This is by Sarah Morgan. I've wanted to read a book. I think it's this one. It's about an adventure, um, a trip some ladies go on, and they're very different. So there's like the older lady. She's 80. Okay, but she's very spunky, very spunky. She's always been a go-getter, a traveler, whatnot. And something happens. Oh, there's a female cardinal right out there on my deck. There she goes. That's cool. Anyhow, um, something happens to her, and she gets this wake-up call, and she's not ready to be put away, put in a home, be taken care of, sell her house. No, she's ready to go on an adventure. So she's going to go on this adventure, and she wants to take a road trip. So... She's going to hook up, I think, with this other young girl we've just met, who's like 24, whose family thinks that she's just wasted her life away already. She hasn't done this. She hasn't done that. She can't compare to her sister. You know, the sister's perfect. She's not. She's like ready to just run away. And I think that's what she's going to do. Um, the older lady doesn't drive, so she's going to hire somebody. And I think it's that young girl. And then I think the daughter, I think her the older lady's daughter's going to end up going with them because she's very controlling and uptight and worried about her mom. And I don't think she's going to let her mom go on the trip without her. So I think it's three generations. we got an 80-year-old, a 40-year-old, and a 24-year-old. They're all going to go on this road trip together. And I think they're going to learn a lot about themselves. And maybe, you know, one, I think the middle one needs to, like, let go a little bit. The younger one needs to get more confidence. And the old lady, she's just spunky and she's just having the time of her life. Anyhow, there's that. <laughs> so, um, what else have I worked on? I'm still working on this dragonfly painting. It's almost done. If you can tell, I'm right up here at the very tippy top. I've got just a little bit of the flowers to go and a couple of, uh, you know, little hidden missing drills to put in and it's done. Working on Chuck still. I'm, I need to get both of these. I need to get these things done before the end of April. Let me show you what I started last night, you guys. This is this is fiddly. I'll just say it's fiddly. All right. So right now I have a circle. <laughs> Can you tell? It's a circle. It's the start of a top. This is a three weight yarn. It's very pretty. It's from Hirschner's, I believe. Yeah, it's from Hirschner's, and it's their Willow brand. You can't see it. Which way? Which way? Which way? Willow. And it's called Rise. It's very pretty. There's more darker pinks in here when you get into it. 
but I'm using this little itty bitty hook. Hang on, where's my camera? It's an itty bitty bitty hook. It's a 3.5, you guys. It is the littlest, fiddliest little stitches. So far, I'm just doing single crochets. It's crazy. You see it? It's tiny stuff. So I'm just, it's going to be one of those projects I just, I work on and I bought it as a kit from them. Uh, or maybe it was Mary Maxim. Is it Mary Maxim? I don't remember who has Willow. Hang on. Let me see. Here's my pattern. Let's see. Who's got, who's got the Willow yarns? Mary Maxim, maybe. Or Hirschner's. It's one of those two. I don't know anymore. Anyhow. That's what I'm working on, and I'm just going to take my time with it and, um, you know, work on it when I feel like it. And when it's done, it's done. One of those kind of things. I took a shower, so that's why my hair is wet, because I was going to come out, and hopefully I would have more to show you outside, but when I got out of the shower, it had stopped. So, I mean, today is, what, April 18th or something? What is it? Yeah, the 18th. And it was snowing. So I thought when I got out of the shower, there would be more to show you, more snow, but it actually stopped. So we really just had some flurries for a little bit, but yeah, the 18th, 18th of April. Here we are in snow. All right. I guess that's about all I have to talk about right now. Um, I'll talk more about Easter and stuff in my whipping chat, but that's all I got for now. So I'm going to go record some videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoy the vlog. It's just a whole mishmash of different things. So I hope you enjoy it anyhow. So talk to you all soon and um, I'll see you in the next vlog. Okay. Bye everybody. Can I just say this is bullshit. <laughs> it is April 18th. Seriously. So it's been doing this on and off all day, but it would come down and it would just melt. It would just, you know, turn into water when it hit the ground. You can tell that it's starting to like stick, right? <clears throat> Look at under the apple tree. See the difference where it's green and then it's white. <laughs> oh my God, what is going on? This is crazy. Look at over here, see? Look at, isn't that funny? You can see like the little circle of green underneath the tree. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no words really no I mean I guess it's worse in other places I think like North Dakota has like feet of snow <laughs> but they're more north than us aren't they I don't know I think so a little bit anyhow this is craziness just crazy now by the weekend I think it's going to be 70 can we just finally have some spring around here seriously it's nuts just nuts all right i'm done i'm done <laughs>